And a high angle rescue. Scary moments for at least two dozen people stranded on a roller coaster ride 75 feet in the air. How long it took to get them down. Some scary moments Sunday afternoon for people riding a roller coaster at Six Flags in Maryland. But Sunday's mishap was just one in a series of these theme park ride accidents that have happened over the summer. Several of them happening here in California. San Diego Six's John Carroll live with why some riders involved in accidents could receive this financial compensation. John. Netta and Jim, it happened to a group riding SeaWorld Sky Tower in late June of this year. 46 of them were stuck up there for a nerve-wracking four hours as SeaWorld engineers worked to fix the problem. Then, in Maryland, this weekend, it happened again. The video out of Six Flags in Maryland is enough to strike fear in the hearts of roller coaster riders everywhere. For as yet unknown reasons, the Joker's Jinx ride came to an abrupt halt high above the ground, and as is usually the case, riders had to wait for hours to be brought down. What you don't expect is that a ride is going to break down while people are on it and people are in a very precarious and dangerous situation. And that's where lawyers like Ross Jurowitz come in. He's a personal injury attorney who specializes in theme park accidents. We've seen uh, people who get stuck uh, uh, for hours on end uh, on roller coasters who are suspended in awkward positions, who are in, in safety harnesses where they have a great deal of strain on their back and on their neck. And Jurowitz says people involved in those accidents frequently have a legal cause of action to bring against the theme park, especially when the accident appeared to happen because of negligence. Some say that's what happened at Magic Mountain when a large part of a pine tree fell across the tracks of the Ninja roller coaster last month. Because of their failure to maintain, people you know, suffered injury. It's the same thing as, as a, getting involved in a bus versus a car accident. In fact, Jurowitz says here in California, the law is that you must face no more risk riding a city bus than you would on a roller coaster. That means somebody who um, accepts payment to transport someone else it could be a bus, could be a, a train, for example. Uh, you know, in, under common carrier uh, liability, you are held to the utmost degree of care. Cal OSHA inspects rides at theme parks in the state once a year. Since 2008, the number of accidents annually has held fairly steady between five and seven, with the exception of 2010, when there were 12 accidents in the Golden State. Now, so far this year, we are on track to have as many accidents as we've typically had in California during recent years. There have been at least four accidents in the state uh, as of this date, and it's, uh, it's only mid-August, so we have a ways to go. Live tonight at Mission Bay, John Carroll, San Diego 6 News. John, thank you so much.